Why do Sigma males seem to have a unique perception of death, unlike the rest of us? In our world that thrives on social classifications, there exists an enigma, a category of men who are often misunderstood and rarely talked about, the Sigma males. These are the lone wolves, the introverted wanderers, the ones who march to the beat of their own drum. They are not the alpha males, the leaders of the pack, nor are they the beta males, the followers. They are the outliers, the ones who exist on their own terms, striving for self-sufficiency and non-conformity. But what sets Sigma males apart is not just their propensity for solitude or their disdain for societal norms, it's their intriguing perspective on life, and more importantly, on death. In a society where death is often feared, Sigma males seem to have a different, more nuanced view. They don't fear death, but rather, they see it as an inevitable part of life, a journey that everyone must eventually embark on. But why is that? Why do these men who live their lives in the shadows have such a unique perspective on one of life's most profound mysteries? Is it their inherent self-reliance, their ability to stand alone without the need for validation from others? Is it their innate resilience, their ability to bounce back from adversity stronger than before? Or is it their stoic pragmatism, their ability to see things as they truly are without letting emotions cloud their judgment. In this exploration of the Sigma male's psyche, we will attempt to unravel this mystery. We will delve into the reasons why Sigma males are not afraid of death, looking at their unique traits and characteristics, and how these influence their perception of life's ultimate truth. So, buckle up as we journey into the mind of the Sigma male, a place where solitude is embraced, norms are challenged, and death is seen not as an end, but as a natural progression of life. Let us delve into the mind of a Sigma male and uncover the reasons behind their unorthodox view of death. Our first reason is the Sigma's inherent self-reliance. A Sigma male's approach to life is steeped in the ability to rely on oneself, a trait that plays a significant role in shaping their perspective on death. Think about it. Sigma males are the lone wolves, the drifters, the men who walk their own path. They are not swayed by societal norms or expectations. Instead, they carve their own way, relying on their own strength and wits to navigate life's challenges. In their daily lives, this self-reliance manifests in various ways. Whether it's making decisions without seeking others' opinions, handling their problems without leaning on others, or simply preferring to spend time alone, Sigma males have a level of independence that is truly remarkable. They are like a self-sustaining ecosystem where every part functions seamlessly without the need for external support. This is not to say they are immune to seeking help when necessary, but it's not their first instinct. Their first instinct is to look within, to find solutions and strength in their own minds and hearts. This level of self-reliance naturally extends to their perception of death. Just as they navigate life relying on their own abilities, they also face the prospect of death with the same mindset. To a Sigma male, death is not a fearful unknown that requires external comfort or reassurance. It's simply another part of life's journey that they will navigate with the same self-reliance that characterizes their life. Death, like life, is a solitary journey. And who better to face this journey than the Sigma male, who has mastered the art of self-reliance? They do not fear death because they trust in their ability to handle whatever comes their way. With such a high level of self-reliance, it's not surprising that death is seen as just another part of life. For Sigma males, death isn't a frightful end, but a natural progression of life's journey that they are prepared to embark on, just as they have embarked on every other journey in their life, independently and with self-reliance. The second reason lies in their non-conformist nature. This is a defining characteristic of Sigma males, their tendency to go against the grain, to question the status quo and not to follow the crowd. This non-conformity is not born out of rebellion or a desire to be different, but from a deep-seated commitment to authenticity. They are true to themselves, even if it means standing alone. Now how does this non-conformity shape their view on death? The answer lies in their ability to challenge societal norms. In many societies, death is seen as a taboo, a topic to be avoided, a reality to be feared. But Sigma males, with their non-conformist nature, dare to question these norms. They dare to face the reality of death, to ponder its implications, and to engage in discussions about it. 
They are not afraid to confront the inevitable, to look at it straight in the eye. Consider, for instance, the societal norm that views death as a tragic end. While loss is undoubtedly painful, Sigma males are able to see beyond this conventional perspective. They perceive death not as an end, but as a part of the grand cycle of life. They understand that death, like life, is a natural process, a journey that everyone must undertake. Furthermore, this nonconformist nature allows Sigma males to detach themselves from the fear associated with death. They understand that fear stems from the unknown, from the uncertainty of what lies beyond. And so, they make it a point to educate themselves, to explore different philosophies and beliefs about death. This knowledge, this understanding, allows them to face death without fear. In addition, Sigma males challenge the norm that associates death with negativity. They believe that how one views death can significantly influence how one lives life. If one views death with fear and negativity, it can lead to a life lived in anxiety and apprehension. But if one views death as a natural part of life, it can lead to a life lived with courage and acceptance. Their nonconformity allows them to view death from a unique perspective. This perspective, free from fear and societal constraints, empowers Sigma males to live authentic lives, unafraid of the inevitable journey towards death. Solitude, our third reason, plays a significant role in the Sigma's perception of death. Solitude, often misunderstood as loneliness, is a choice for Sigma males. It's their preferred state of existence, a sanctuary where they find peace and clarity. This solitude isn't about isolation, but rather about self-discovery and introspection. It's their fortress of solitude, a place where they can be true to themselves without the influence of societal norms and expectations. In this sanctuary of solitude, Sigma males find the space to contemplate life's most profound questions, including the inevitability of death. Far from the maddening crowd, they have the time to ponder the transient nature of life. They grapple with the concept of mortality, not in fear or denial, but with a sense of acceptance and understanding. Solitude allows them the freedom to confront their fears and anxieties about death head on, without the distractions and influences of the outside world. Picture, for instance, a Sigma male sitting alone under a starlit sky, contemplating the vastness of the universe. This quiet moment of reflection allows him to come to terms with his place in the cosmos. He realizes that death, like birth, is a part of the cosmic cycle, a necessary end to his earthly journey. The fear of death diminishes, replaced by a calm acceptance and a sense of peace. Solitude also offers the Sigma male the opportunity to live life on their terms. They understand that life is fleeting, and they choose to spend it pursuing their passions, learning, growing and experiencing the world in their unique way. This acceptance of life's ephemerity and the conscious decision to live fully and authentically lessens the fear of death. They see death not as an end, but as a transition, a natural progression in the journey of existence. In their solitude, Sigma males find a peace with death that many of us struggle to comprehend. They approach death with the same quiet confidence and acceptance with which they live their lives. And this, dear listeners, is the power of solitude in the life of a Sigma male, a testament to their unique approach to life and death. The fourth reason is their remarkable resilience. Now, if we're talking about Sigma males, we can't overlook their extraordinary resilience. This trait is like a shield, a protective layer that guards them from the harsh blows of life. But what is resilience really? It's the ability to bounce back from adversity, to rise from the ashes, and to keep going despite the odds. Sigma males are the embodiment of this quality. They are the ones who, when life hands them lemons, they don't just make lemonade, they build a whole lemonade stand and turn it into a thriving business. Let's consider a few examples. Picture a Sigma male who loses his job unexpectedly. Instead of wallowing in self-pity or despair, he uses this setback as an opportunity to explore new avenues, perhaps launching his own venture or learning a new skill. He doesn't see it as an end, but rather a new beginning. Or imagine a Sigma male who faces a personal tragedy. The pain is real and deep, but he doesn't let it consume him. He finds strength in his solitude, uses his introspective nature to process his emotions, and emerges stronger, more resilient, this resilience extends to their view on death. For Sigma males, death is not an end to be feared, but a natural part of life's journey. 
they understand that everything has a life cycle, and just as the sun rises and sets, life too has its beginnings and ends. They see death as another challenge, another adversity to be faced and overcome. And just as they navigate the storms of life with grace and fortitude, they approach death with the same resilience. They do not fear it, because they have faced adversity before and emerged victorious. They know that just as they have lived life on their own terms, they can face death in the same way. In essence, Sigma males are like the proverbial phoenix, always rising from the ashes, always moving forward, always resilient. They understand that life is a series of ups and downs, and they are prepared to face whatever comes their way, including the inevitable end. Their resilience allows them to face death without fear. Our fifth reason is their pragmatic approach towards life and death. Pragmatism, at its core, is a philosophical tradition that considers words and thought as tools and instruments for prediction, problem solving, and action. It rejects the idea that the function of thought is to describe, represent, or mirror reality. Instead, pragmatists contend that thought is a tool for action and problem solving. So what does this have to do with Sigma males and their perception of death? Well, everything, really. Sigma males are known for their practical, matter-of-fact outlook on life. They understand that life, in all its beauty and complexity, is a series of events and experiences that eventually lead to an inevitable end, death. But rather than fearing this end, Sigma males embrace it as a natural and essential part of life's cycle. Consider this. A Sigma male doesn't waste his time worrying about the unavoidable. Instead, he focuses on the here and now, making the most of every situation and always looking for the most practical and efficient way to solve problems. This pragmatic approach extends to their views on death. They see it not as an end, but as a part of a larger cycle, a transition, if you will. Moreover, Sigma males apply this pragmatism in their everyday lives. They don't waste their energy on frivolous concerns or unnecessary drama. They understand that life is fleeting, and they choose to spend their time and energy on things that matter personal growth, achieving their goals, and making a positive impact on the world. So when faced with the concept of death, Sigma males don't shy away or hide in fear. Instead, they accept it with grace and understanding, knowing that it is an inevitable part of life. They don't see death as something to be feared, but rather as a reminder to live their lives to the fullest, to seize every opportunity, to learn and grow and make a difference. With such a pragmatic outlook, death becomes a natural and accepted part of life. The sixth reason lies in their introspective nature. Now, what do we mean when we say Sigma males are introspective? It's about their ability to look within, to understand themselves and their place in the world. This inward gaze is a crucial aspect of their personality, and it plays a significant role in their perception of death. Introspection is like a mirror for the mind. It allows Sigma males to examine their thoughts feelings and desires from a detached perspective. They don't just live life, they contemplate it. They ponder on the mysteries of existence, the fleeting nature of time, and the inevitability of death. You see, for Sigma males, introspection is not a fleeting exercise. It's not done in spare moments or when life gives them a jolt. No, it's a constant process, a steady stream of thought. It's as natural to them as breathing. This relentless introspection leads them to profound insights about life and death. Consider a Sigma male sitting quietly in a park, seemingly lost in the beauty of the sunset. In reality, he's not just observing the sun dipping below the horizon. He's contemplating the impermanence of the day, the transient nature of life, and the certainty of the night, which in this context symbolizes death. Through introspection, Sigma males come to realize that death is not an end, but a part of the cycle of life. They see that just like the day inevitably gives way to night, life eventually gives way to death. This understanding doesn't scare them. Instead, it brings them peace. They accept death as a natural part of existence, not something to be feared or avoided. This introspective nature helps Sigma males to not only understand death, but also to accept it. They see mortality not as a dreaded enemy, but as a silent companion a constant reminder of the preciousness of each moment. This acceptance of death brings a sense of urgency to their lives, making every moment meaningful and every experience valuable. 
So the next time you see a Sigma male lost in thought, know that he's not simply daydreaming. He's engaging in a profound, introspective journey, one that helps him understand and embrace the inevitability of death. Through introspection, they reconcile with the inevitability of death. Our seventh and final reason is the Sigma's Stoic philosophy. The Stoic philosophy, deeply embedded in the psyche of a Sigma male, shapes their view on everything, including death. Stoicism, a school of Hellenistic philosophy, teaches the development of self-control and fortitude to overcome destructive emotions. It's about learning to detach oneself from desires and fears, to live in the present, and to accept life as it unfolds, including its ultimate endpoint, death. Sigma males, embodying this stoic philosophy, perceive death not as an end but as a natural part of the life cycle. They understand that just like birth, death too is a universal truth, an inevitable event that every living creature must face. This understanding enables them to accept death without fear or anxiety. For instance, when faced with the prospect of their own mortality, instead of panicking or denying, they prepare. They take the time to put their affairs in order, to make peace with their past, and to express their wishes and desires for the future. They don't shy away from discussing death. Instead, they face it head on, with calm and composure, a testament to their stoic nature. The stoic belief in focusing on what's under one's control and accepting what isn't also plays a significant role here. Sigma males realize that they can't control when or how they will die, but they can control how they live and how they react to the thought of death. Instead of dwelling on the fear of the unknown, they channel their energy into living a life of purpose and meaning, a life they can be proud of when the time comes to leave it behind. Their stoicism also helps them deal with the death of loved ones. While they experience grief and sadness, they accept these feelings as natural responses to loss. Instead of allowing grief to consume them, they use it as a catalyst for personal growth, learning to appreciate life and the relationships they have even more. With stoicism, they accept death as an inevitable part of life. So, we've explored the seven reasons why Sigma males are not afraid of death. To begin, we dove into the notion of self-reliance. This fundamental trait of a Sigma male, their ability to stand independent and self-sustaining, empowers them to face the inevitability of death without fear. They're not dependent on the world, and so they fear not leaving it. Next, we discuss the Sigma's non-conformity. Their ability to live outside societal norms and expectations allows them to view death from a unique perspective. They're not confined by common fears and societal pressures surrounding death, giving them the freedom to accept it as a part of life's journey. We then ventured into the world of solitude. Sigma males are comfortable being alone, and this comfort extends to their view of death. To them, death is but another form of solitude, a journey that everyone must undertake alone. Resilience was our fourth point. The trials and tribulations of life forge a Sigma male's resilience, giving them the strength to face death without fear. They've weathered life's storms, and so they are not deterred by the final storm on the horizon. Our fifth point revolved around pragmatism. Sigma males are realists. They understand that death is an inevitable part of life, and rather than fearing it, they accept it as a fact and focus on the present. Our penultimate point was introspection. Sigma males spend a lot of time in self-reflection, understanding their own minds and hearts. This deep understanding of self lends them a certain peace when it comes to contemplating their mortality. Finally, we touched on stoicism. The stoic acceptance of life's ups and downs, including death, is a key characteristic of Sigma males. They understand that life is transient, and instead of fearing the end, they choose to live in the moment. In understanding the Sigma male's perspective, we might all learn something about confronting our own mortality.